Chapter 75 Education Obtained at Expense of Health Some students put the whole being into their studies and concentrate their minds upon the object of obtaining an education. They work the brain but allow the physical powers to remain inactive. Thus, the brain is overworked and the muscles become weak because they are not exercised. When these students are graduated, it is evident that they have obtained their education at the expense of life. They have studied day and night, year after year, keeping their minds continually upon the stretch while they have failed to exercise their muscles sufficiently. Young ladies frequently give themselves up to study, to the neglect of other branches of education even more essential for practical life than the study of books. And after having obtained their education, they are often invalids for life. They have neglected their health by remaining too much indoors, deprived of the pure air of heaven and of the God-given sunlight. These young women might have come from school in health had they combined with their studies household labor and exercise in the open air. Health is a great treasure. It is the richest possession that morals can have. Wealth, honor, or learning is dearly purchased if it be at the loss of the vigor of health. None of these attainments can secure happiness if health is wanting.